Oh, hell no. What's up, dogs? I'm Zerfall, and today we have to head to the map and go meet our friend Lexi, who is now a detective at GG Park. Oh, look at this little robot. Go look at the watering rom. What's he up to? This is a public park. It roams in its designated area to offer water and directions to tourists. It also takes tips. What tips? If you listen to it, you can't sync to the ROM with these. What if you show my ID? You really don't have to show your ID. This little park ROM gives you water for free. Oh, well, that's nice. Hello, I'm Elfie I83. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Sure, I'll take some water. Yes! Just in case we run into some melons that need it. Sure thing, please wait. Okay, here you go. Water added to items, nice. Water levels, okay. Would you care to donate some credits to the ROM recycling for a Greener Earth Foundation? Mm, sure, I suppose. Thank you so much. We don't really know how many credits we have, so we might as well have lots of them. We can go to the right and look at this tree. Eucalyptus globulus. What'd you say? Eucalyptus globulus, the Tasmanian blue gum. It's one of my favorite trees. The clean lines of the leaves and mottled patterns of the bark are interesting. Quite fun to paint, and it's a rather useful tree, too. The oil in its leaves can be used as a medical antiseptic or analgestic. Any analgestic. I keep adding an extra L in there. Boiled into tea or used as flavoring in food. Even used as a fragrance for soaps. Many of the trees in this park are excellent specimens of the species. It's one of the only topics I've permanently committed to my personal memory. Hmm, your personal memory? Ah, uh, yes, I usually, I don't actually store most of the information in my local memory. It's, us it's actually rather limited and I have to be a bit choosy about what I keep. So most of the information I utilize, I just pull off the me mesh net when needed. It's like relearning things over and over again. I'm sure you would find it tedious, but I enjoy making sure my reference tables are up to date in my spare clock cycles. Mostly I store things locally if they are of some critical importance to me, like information pertaining to my personal memories or knowledge that would be helpful if I found myself disconnected from the net. And eucalyptus trees make the cut? Well, as I said, I keep things pertaining to my personal memory. It may seem insignificant, but without the information about eucalyptus globulus, I'd lack critical details about my painting history and the local area, both of which I find important to my emotional development. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to know what's important and what isn't, but I fear losing parts of myself. So eucalyptus globulus stays. You're cute. Of course I'm cute. Aww. He's like, <laughs> I know. The basic ROM form factor is designed to place us firmly outside of the uncanny valley. I can't imagine it. Adop adoption rates for technology would have been very high otherwise. I thought you painted abstract art. Oh, I do. However, I originally started by painting landscapes. My interest in the arts began through Bob Ross's work, and he focused on landscapes. Oh, that's cool. Check out Bob Ross. I painted happy little trees. It wasn't until recently that I moved on to other forms of composition. Bob Ross? Yes, have you heard of him? During my initial stages of mental growth, Hayden limited my media access mostly to only educational programs. I had almost a century of public access television to review, and I stumbled upon Mr. Ross's excellent show, The Joy of Painting. He used an easy-to-learn, wet-on-wet oil painting technique that I started to paint along with the episodes. I also found his philosophical views compelling. He often used anecdotal stories from his life to illustrate his opinions. I respect the man quite deeply. I've committed all 403 episodes of the series to my personal memory. He would have loved Twitch uh, watches. Bob Ross. What's this carousel? Originally built by the Herschel Spillman Company in 1914, this carousel is still one of the outstanding attractions near the children's playground. A quiet voice reads information about the carousel's history. Interesting. I don't think we have time to ride it, even though it looks fun! Ah, a casually dressed fellow. Looks like he's taking a photo of his ROM. Oh, he thinks he's people. I just got this ROM yesterday! And it's an Apollo Mark 
7 model. Anything else to say? Ick! Isn't it cute? Okay. Cute headphones! Not as cute as my new ROM though! You want some, uh... What's that smell? What's this lady say? Do you think I would look nice in that hat, Zerfall? Hmm. Well, he probably wouldn't. But, wouldn't hurt to try. I'll take you shopping sometime. He's just happy. I, I'd really love that, Zerfall. Oh, he likes us. Maybe it would look better in orange or green. Perhaps a mauve. What she got to say? Having a lot of mixed feelings about wearing this whole wearing a hat on a breezy day thing. Her hat seems to be enjoying the breeze more than she is. <laughs> that guy's super into his rum, eh? Oh, she must be Canadian. I'm the same way with mine. Alright, I don't think much is going on here. What's this thing? Snack shack. Stand in the middle of the park. The coffee there is actually really great. Oh, wasn't one of the... Oh, that's probably what she's investigating. Why spend credits on great yet expensive coffee when there's a park rum giving out free water? Alright, let's move along here. Aha! This is probably our friend. What do we got? Another tree. Froyo stand. Yeah, this is the, the hipster Froyo stand that got destroyed. Broken, beat up Froyo stand. It was in the newspaper. You read in OK Today, right? Maybe you should have... Maybe you should have during... Or maybe you should have before turning broke poor laddie. I did read about it. Who could have done this? You can't get Froyo today. The entire stand was destroyed. No, sorry, no samples. Froyo stand wasn't activated by voice. What do we got? Water pump. Controls the floor. Water the water run. It's currently on and pumping strong. Can we touch it? If you want water, I'm sure that public park rum we saw can help. On our way in can help. All right, all right. With this, you could wield complete power over free refreshments. Uh, all right, all right. So what do we got? He's, she's got. She's kind of like the girl from uh, Mirror's Edge. What's this in the background? Ah, it's an art studio. This is the Sharon Art Studio, established in 1968. It's Neo San Francisco's largest public art studio with classes and workshops for all ages. The building was closed off in 1974 after suffering fire damage, but reopened in 1984 and has continued operation since. I'm impressed that it's still running. Can we go there? No time for our classes. There's a mystery to be solved. All right. Let's uh, take a look at her robot. One of the NSFPD's finest ROMs on assignment at the park. Can we listen in? Oh, man. Is it even legal to listen in like that? What's this person got? A very distraught owner of a very destroyed Froyo stand. Hey, can't you see I'm busy here? Look, I've gone through a lot today. Just give me some space, okay? Oh, I can't touch him though. What if I use this? Wow, those headphones are pretty A1! Yogurt is actually made by fermenting milk with special yogurt cultures, which is then frozen to make Froyo! Huh. Very educational. What's Lexi look like? That's the Texi detective Lexi Rivers. You met her through your sister a while back, but you haven't seen her in some time until today. She always seemed to really care about you. She's helped you out a time or two in the past. Can I hug her? Probably no idea to push her around. Hey, who said I was going to push her? I know who you are, Zerfall. Hey, Zerfall, long time! Give me a few minutes to wrap this up before you start twisting my arm about whatever you need, okay? I swear, you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked for you, Stan. By the way, how's your sister doing? Oh, she got a little bit of a blush there. Don't rush on my account, there's a man's life on the line. <laughs> oh, I won't. It's up to the crack detective unit of the Neo San Francisco Police Department to protect the people of the city from the horrors of the spectral robot threat. Just hold your horses while I get this done. Fine, fine. Tell me about the Froyo stand. I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose and that everyone's calling Wonder Boy. That's a dumb name. 
supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a throw your stand has to do with it. I think it's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and committing some light vandalism. But the brass said take it seriously, so that's what I'm gonna do. Not like I don't have it. real cases I should be working on or actual crimes to be hunting down. If I'd known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. What's the problem with you? I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I've got implants. Take your pick. Oh, she's a loose cannon. She's a loose arm cannon, but a hell of a cop. I transferred because the credits were good. I thought I'd be in a being in a bigger city would mean I'd get some to work some bigger cases. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. Oh yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got, Zerfall. Oh so yeah, it's gonna be better than dealing with this crap. Hold on one sec, let me finish up with this guy. Hey, your case is crap. Get out of here. Ah, so he's finishing up his story. So fill me in. What's going on? An old friend of mine, Hayden, has gone missing. Shoo! That's no good, I'm sorry. How long have they been gone? If it's been less than 48 hours, I can't start anything officially. I can't even argue with that rule. They probably show up eventually. Maybe they just went on a trip. Unfortunately, Detective, things are a bit more serious than that. I'm Hayden's personal ROM, and I was witness to his kidnapping. There goes SKS playing some Rocket League. Just prior to being taken, my owner instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. Now I believe he was expecting it. I have enlisted Zerfall and Zer Assistance. Or for Zer Assistance? I can assure you Hayden was taken by force and that... <laughs> and that time is of the essence. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Shoo! If that's the case, you should, you should forward me a video of him being adopted. I'll open up an investigation. I'm not sure I'd be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can keep tabs on things for you. I was hoping we'd keep this one off the books. Yes, Hayden is a senior researcher at Fairlax, or Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high profile projects for the company. It's quite likely he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure an official investigation goes nowhere. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Furthermore, we know there's already some kind of investigation currently ongoing. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. You know, you're a bit of a, you're a bit chattier than most ROMs. I guess it makes sense that Parallax gets the shiniest new toys, huh? Dot dot dot, she called you a toy. Give her the Gold Gold 13 special. I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside is actually dirty, but I can pass information to you if I... I decide my superiors aren't taking the investigation seriously. They wouldn't have left only one bot in charge if it was something important. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax, we'll figure this out, I promise. Hmm. I'm not going to try to take her off guard duty, but I'll ask her this. No way, not going to happen. If there's already an investigation, I'm not going to just let you waltz in and tamper with evidence. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing their job right. <laughs> uh, hmm, I'm not sure which one I want to pick here. <laughs> what happened? You used to be cool. I'm still cool. I'm still cool. Let's go. Um, I'm going to go with this one. We can't wait a day. Look, I'm taking this seriously, and so should you. If Hayden is in real danger, you stumbling after whoever took him is not gonna is gonna get you killed. I don't need that kind of crap on my conscience. Let me do my job. You know I can handle myself, Lexi. You've been there. Sure you can, all the way up until you don't. Just let it go, Zerfall. I'm not gonna be the one that watching your sister cry over your casket. I'll handle this. We'll have a better shot if we work at this from both ends. No, Zerfall, we're not going to do it that way. I lost too much playing fast and loose before I joined the force. And while I don't have a stick up my ass about rigs, I'm not going to send an untrained civilian into this alone. Let me do my job. I don't want to get you hurt. All right, all right, I hear you, Lexi. You better, now get out of here. I still got to finish up this Froyo thing. I'll call you with details about the case later. 
Oh, I should have asked her to join us, because then... Well, that didn't go out, I hope, but maybe this isn't a total loss. I have another idea on how to get us both inside the apartment. Awesome, what is it? I'll need to get my hand on Detective River's police identification badge. I can just detect its outline in the fa- I can just detect its outline in the fabric of her jacket pocket. I'll need to be considerably closer to pull its data. We can't risk being too obvious. Hmm. I'm sure you can come up with some way for me to scan it. I have faith in you, Zerfall. Was it really necessary to bring a ROM this big for a vandalized Froyo stand? <laughs> Apparently, the Ridley. Wait, I don't even know what that's for. Huh? Even the police feed has ads these days. That's funny. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, why me? I just got the Toro flavor in. Oh, Toro is a delicious flavor, actually. Those are nice headphones, but I'm busy. Keep your hands to yourself. Toppings everywhere! The humanity of it all! The pretzel guy! Yes, Steve! He's been after this spot for years! What if we use this? Why are you carrying spoiled milk around? Sales permits! Oh, it must have been destroyed! Oh, I see. He's a little bit crooked. Alright, what about this thing? You deactivate the pump, stopping the water's flow. Do I have to... whoops. I kinda wish I asked her to come with me. Oh well, try to play a little bit safe and uh... Hello, I'm Alfie. How may I help you? Would you like to have some cool refreshing water? <laughs> Some people see the glass as half empty. Some see it the glass as half full. Alfie sees your glass as completely full. Alright, so we gotta get to our items here. Chug some water. That hit the spot. You drank your water. Good job! So we're gonna have to keep drinking water from him. It's your thing. Oh, he's like, my man! Luckily... Oh! Oh, oh, this is embarrassing. Did I hit cancel? I seem to have run out of cool, refreshing water. Oh, he's losing it! Water level's not okay. Water level's not okay. I'll be right back. Oh, shoot. Oof. Oh man, I made that guy go crazy. You should probably make sure Turing gets the Lexi like, badge before I help her back to her feet. Oh, what a jerk. Oh, cool and refreshing. Achievement unlocked. Perfect, that's all I need. Okay, now what? Let me keep that under my. Hey! What the hell are you two doing with my ID? Oh, excuse me, Detective Rivers. I noticed it fell out of your pocket after that rare world ROM crashed into you, and I wanted to make sure you didn't get lost in the shuffle. Huh? Thanks. What hit me? You said it was a ROM? Yes, it seemed to be following a faulty programming of some kind. Perhaps it was the same one that damaged this vendor's service cart. It headed off in that direction. Guess I should check it out. Not like I have any other leads. Hey, you fro guy, fro guy, take along with me in case I need you to identify it. Who, me? But I gotta attend my stand. Cut the crap! It's not going anywhere, and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. Yes, ma'am. And you, don't think I don't know you're up to something, Zerfall. Keep your nose clean. I'll be in touch. Uh, as I was saying, let me keep that under my hat for now. I want to prove my usefulness to the investigation beyond my abilities to do net searches. Forgive me being a bit dramatic. We should return to Hayden's. Can we mess with this now? 
They'd rather have a mango hassy anyway. Man, this, they're really pushing the hassy on us. It's currently towards his head. What does this robot have to say? Can I talk to him now? No. All right, let's head to Hayden's. All right, what's he gonna pull? They carry a big stick or chassis at least. Breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> Alt citizen, this area has been cornered off by the Neo San Francisco Police Department as part of an ongoing investigation. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I'm not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. <clears throat> this is Detective Lexi, badge number 881126. I will be entering the crime scene with my assistant to gather some evidence. Please move out, but maintain the perimeter. Of course, Detective Rivers, good luck with your investigation. So, are you impressed yet? I, have I proven my usefulness, sir, Fall? Oh, let's be nice to him. You don't need to prove anything to me, Turing, but good job. Thank you. At times, I feel my inexperience may be holding us back, but I will continue to do my best to assist you. I just wish Hayden had given me more practical training to deal with this kind of situation. Or even just being out and about at all in general. It can be a bit overwhelming at times. How did that work with just Lexi's voice anyways? Can't that police bot see us? Well, I'm not sure I'd call that seeing. The Neo San Francisco Police Department uses a government rebuild of the old Robodyne 6300. They're antiquated enough that I'm surprised they aren't in a museum. Their optics are a paltry 10 megapixels. And it was child's play for me to modulate my forward display into a tight beam of an image aimed directly into its lens. I also transmitted the credentials we got from Detective Wizard's badge earlier. I probably could have gotten away with just that. But better safe than sorry when impersonating an officer of the law. Yeah, we're breaking the law again. Frankly, I'm rather embarrassed for the ROM. The poor thing's older than your computer. But enough of that. Let's get the data cache and return to Tomcat. Alright, so we should be able to enter now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck happened? It was not like this when we got here. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, 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 no. Our apartment. What did they do to my home? Who could have done this? Jeez, that graffiti looks like Human Revolution stuff. Why would they come after us, though? Why would they break our things? I, I don't know what to do, Zerfall. This, this place, these items, they're all I have of Hayden. What if he's gone for good? What will I do I can't, if we can't find him? Don't worry, Turing. Turing, we'll find him. You're you're right. I apologize for the emotional outburst, Zerfall. Let's look around and see if we can find the data cache. We don't have time to waste on my hysteronics. Oh, look at this plant! Oh, we should have taken it! Someone took the time to methodically shred the poor plant. The view is marred by graffiti and splintered glass. I think you're right about this being human revolution propaganda, but I don't know why they would come after Hayden. I know they don't like Parallax because they think the advanced technology in general is bad, but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. That's why they're protesting a genus now. I'll run some deep mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. It looks like it says text gum. Pure graffiti. Humidity has changed rapidly in the last century. Hybridization of the human genome and a wide variety of cybernetic augmentations in the has in the human revolution's viewpoint diluted the purity and strength of the species. I want a bunch of jerks. A ROM piece has been embedded in the high res screen. All right, so we should be able to get to the desk here. The desk has been ransacked and tagged with spray paint. I think the data cache is gone, Zerfall. We've searched everywhere and it just isn't here. I hate to return to Com Tomcat empty-handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they can point us in the new direction. The data cache is no longer our main objective, but it would be nice to know if there's where it is taken and why. Hmm. Maybe someone's framing the human revolution. That's a distinct possibility, Zerfall. I just don't have enough personal experience with the human revolution to give you an honest answer. The information on Mesnex is extremely, extremely conflicting and disparately polarized. Some of it paints them as neo-druid nature lovers, other parts as bigoted ludites, ludites stuck in the past. Perhaps we could... Zerfall! Zerfall! 
Oh, geez, what happened? And you know what? This is going to be a little bit of a short episode, but next time we're going to start Chapter 2 and find out just where we are. I'm Zerfall. Thanks for watching.